welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're going to do a little bit of a sealing video. Now, I get asked a lot about how to seal these special diamond paintings. Now, to me, it's simple. You just seal it, but people that are new to the community may not know, or some people just need a refresher. So we're going to do a little refresher slash, you know, whatever. Okay, so... First things first, you get a sealer. Now, what sealer do I recommend? I use this sealer on all of my projects. Pr Patricia Nemox has a spray, but I don't like using a spray, especially on projects like this, because we're not sealing all of this. We're just sealing the diamond area. And as you can see, this was the kit that I was working on in live uh, this past Friday. And so, sorry, one of the things is like not straight. Okay, there we go. So the sealer I use is this mini max poly acrylic it's clear gloss so don't forget that it has to be clear gloss okay yeah, there you go clear gloss poly acrylic i will uh link it down below i got it from amazon the little container didn't cost that much and you really don't need that much so i'm going to show you how i seal this kit this is going to be a real quick video okay so and to let it dry, you can either put it outside, just leave it somewhere where pets and kids can't get to it um, so that they're not getting their hands in all the stuff. So first things first, I got a paintbrush, I got a little cup of water, and I have my sealer stuff. And this is what it looks like. It's just a liquid. Now, it looks like it's opaque, but it, it dries clear, I promise. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to paint over the sections that have diamonds on them. I'm not going to paint over the whole thing. I'm not going to like cake it on there or anything because it is a liquid so you don't need to like cake it on there so we're just going to paint over all the drills and it's okay to paint on the drills even though they're rhinestone like i said this will dry clear you do want to make sure the drills are in spaces where you uh are in the spot that you want them to dry because when this dries it will be solid as a rock okay so we're gonna go ahead and paint this on we're just painting the areas that have drills on them. So I'm going all the way around. And you could take a fine paintbrush and paint literally just the drills, but I'm painting the areas around it so that the drills don't shift. Um, if your house gets really hot or the temperatures get really hot, like I know they're having some record high temperatures in California, uh, that could also be due to the, the fires going on. You guys stay safe. Um, this will help prevent them from sliding all over the place. So I'm just dipping my paintbrush in, getting a little bit out, and brushing it on there. So we're just going to brush it on there. And it's okay if you see some white uh, when you're brushing it on. Again, this will dry clear. So I'm trying my best to only get it on the drills and not so much the undrilled area. Wiping off the excess. And no, the paintbrush does not come with it. The paintbrush is sold separately, so you will need to buy a paintbrush if you get this sealer. Uh, if you choose to do a spray, uh, same thing. You can put tape down to keep some of the areas protected, but putting this on here, it makes me just feel a little bit better because then I know I'm getting every diamond on the kit and I'm not like... It's all evenly distributed if I do it this way versus if I do the spray and having the guess, you know, how long to have the spray on there and everything. So once you get it fully covered, that's when you're going to let it dry. Now, the drying process, obviously, is going to take a little bit longer. And I'm actually going to speed the drying process up because obviously I'm doing a video. So I don't want you guys to sit here for 20 minutes waiting for this to dry. Because this does dry pretty quickly. Like it's it's not something that takes hours and days. It, it dries pretty quickly. So when you're done with that, to not ruin your paintbrush, you're going to put it in water to just get some of that, uh, that glue out of it. I got it in the water there. So as you can see, it's got the sealer all over it. Also make sure you're doing this in a ventilated area because the sealer does have a little bit of a smell. It's not real pungent, pungent but it does have a little bit of a smell. Now, we're going to let this dry without knocking over our water. We're going to let this dry, and when we come back, I'll show you what the finished result is after it dries. All right, so I took the blow dryer to it. 
For you, that was a blink. For me, that was about five minutes. So for five minutes with a blow dryer, took it to it. But I wanted to show that it dried clear. Now, it's not completely dry because as you can see, right in the middle there, you can see some of the, the suds from the center. But if you look on the sides and everything, everything else is dry. Okay, so when you're when you're doing these special kits, you just want to go over where the drills are, not the entire thing, because this is not a full drill. So the whole thing isn't diamond painted, only this part. So you would only put the sealer on the part that is diamond painted. And again, it doesn't take long to dry. You can see it's dry again, except for like right there in the middle. Um, but you can see it's dry, and we're going to try to push this over just a little bit because I want that to dry in the center and not on that part right there. All right. So, good thing was that wasn't dry yet. So, it usually takes for this stuff to dry. I usually like to let it dry for at least 24 hours. Like, let it cure, let it dry, uh, let it set, and then it will all be completely, like, sealed on there. But that, that's it. That's all you do. You just make sure you drill, you put the diamonds on where you want them. Use the sealer, wipe it on there, put a good amount on there, let it dry. Now, I would recommend letting it air dry because there's no reason why you need to fiddle with this or put it up right away. But if you are, if for some reason, in a rush and you want to get it dry faster, you can use a blow dryer. Um, again, it's going to take you, it's still going to take you a few minutes to get it to completely dry because you want to make sure you get the sealer on there well enough that the, it actually dries it up. Like I said, that center part, I put a good bit on the center part, so it's still drying in the center, but the rest of it looks really good and it's already dry. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you seal your diamond paintings that are special rhinestones. So if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer those questions. But with that said, folks, I really must bid you adieu, but not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.